What's up Martians? Today I want to talk about Sandmark's Motion Pro Variable ND and how it basically can help you all throughout your workflow for both photography and videography. First of all, I would like to thank Sandmark for sending over their Motion Pro Variable ND filter for me to review, but I wasn't paid to say any of these things or, you know, all of my thoughts about it. But once again, thank you, Sandmark. So first of all, all throughout my career, I've been working with only one ND filter, and I've grinded out this ND filter, and there seems to be a couple of, you know, once you've really used it to its max potential. Well, ND filters are basically sunglasses for your lenses. Yes, perhaps you've seen somebody use an ND filter outdoor for photography and videography, but have you seen a videographer use an ND filter indoor? Well, first of all, I'm using Sandmark's Motion Pro variable ND filter right now. Why, you ask? Well, there's one simple answer to that. It's because I want to just basically expose my window. Yeah, and there's like greens outside, but an ND filter is supposed to help you out achieve those amazing results you want to basically make your video look more professional. In my cases, the more you have lighting, the more you're going to need an ND filter. And the more you shoot outdoors to achieve something specific, a specific look you want to a video, you're really gonna need an ND filter. And Sandmark is here to answer that. Well, once again, I wasn't paid to answer this. Um, among the line of ND filters I've used, there's quite a lot of expensive ND filters. But luckily, Sandmark sent me one over and I'm really happy with what I got. Here's a basic example of how you can use an ND filter indoor. So first of all, you have your subject without using an ND filter sitting down. And if you can look at the window light or the background of the subject, you can stay away from those harsh highlights at the background and properly expose your subject but always remember that you have to compensate with proper lighting on top of using the nd filter because of that you can achieve specific looks such as commercials interviews documentaries you can basically level up your game just add a key light a hair light fill light and you're mostly done and that's what you can basically do with the Sandmark Motion Pro Variable ND filter. It has six stops and it has that specific premium feel to it. Like you have really bought one of those expensive ND filters, you know, with a brand, a well-known brand, like one of your friends. I'm lucky to have Sandmark's ND filter, by the way, and I'm, you know, I'm blessed. I feel so thankful. And by the way, if you want to buy this ND filter, link down below. I'm not so sure if I, if I have my promo code up, but, but yes, I might put it in. I don't know. How it works i'm still trying to figure that out oh and one more thing inside the box you're just going to get this pouch with their logo on it and you're gonna get the nd filter well since right now i'm using the nd filter here's how it looks without it yep it's basically let's take off the color grading this is how it looks see so this is sandmark's motion pro variable nd filter i love the silver finish by the way and that reflective look it feels like a brand new car from three stops to six stops that's what you're going to get with the sandmark motion pro variable nd so i that the most that is it for this vlog make sure to like and subscribe follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys on the next super quick video to which hindi ko alam ko ano pa yung ito title sa segment ito once again thank you sandmark for sending over these products i love you guys and yeah and i'll see you guys on the next vlog Peace out.